All right, today I'm going to talk a little bit about this Richard Wright Punisher. Now, the beauty of the way I run my channel is specifically for this. I would not know what this is if my friend Kyle didn't send it to me to film and review for you guys. I don't, I, I have no idea who Richard S. Wright was before I got this knife. Okay. Some of you are laughing and saying, God, he, this guy doesn't know anything about knives because he doesn't even know who Richard Wright is. Okay, sure, fine. If that's your opinion, let me know down below. The rest of you are saying, well, I didn't know who he was either. And if that's what you're saying, well, then you comment down below because I, I love the comments. Obviously, this is an automatic knife, as I just showed you. What's very cool about it is it doesn't look like an automatic knife when it's closed because there's no fire button. There's no uh, lever like on an OTF, a trigger or whatever. Um, it's the bolster, which is sort of similar, kind of like the hidden feature of the non-flipper flipper. Wasn't going to talk about this, but I thought it right as I was talking and grabbed it off my desk. So again, this is a flipper knife but there is no flipper tab. It uses one bolster to fire it open and the other bolster to keep it, to unlock it. Similar here, other than both bolsters are fire buttons, for lack of better words. Slide it off to the side and that releases the lock. Well, not the lock, but that releases the um, spring to fire the blade open. So it's super cool, totally ambidextrous. Uh, even the pocket clip is reversible, you can see here. So it is truly an ambidextrous side opening automatic with a liner lock with a distinctive sound. Very cool sound on both the open and the close. I think it's a cool knife. This one particular in particular is for sale from Kyle. I'll put a price down in the description. Um, and I do that because we may change the price. And if I say it, people will think it's X and then we've lowered it in the description. So check the description. I know nobody ever reads the description, but check it if you're interested in this. I'm also gonna post it on Facebook and whatnot. Um, so yeah, a little bit of smudge on the blade there. So what do we got here other than what you already know? It's five and a quarter close. This is not a small knife. Weighs in at 6.7 ounces. So it's relatively lighter than it seems. Ambidextrous fire buttons, like we said. A 4.09 inch blade from the edge of the bolster to the tip of the blade. Compound grind crazy thick tip just the tip isn't that a joke so a very nice flat grind here almost like almost no grind really but a flat grind that goes down to zero and then a nice hollow grind over here on the main part so that gives you 3.6 inches of cutting edge I'm still trying to get used to this new camera that zooms in times five instead of times three. Times five is a little in your face. Um, so yeah, I get, yeah. Hmm. So behind the edge on this main part is 0 0.015. I didn't even measure this behemoth up here because that's just obnoxious behind the edge, but that gives you a lot of penetrating strength. And the way it's got kind of this swedge up on the top, it really can penetrate it's also nice and kind of a slim profile there for piercing duties the blade thickness is 0.193 it is cpm 154 uh, carbon fiber scales titanium bolsters uh, liner lock titanium pocket clip um, really a unique knife now a little bit about richard wright he started making knives in 1991 and he went full-time in 2001. 
Um, he uses he has a lot of different styles, and I think he's also made fixed blades. He's made folders, uh, tactical stuff, dressy stuff. Um, uh, William McHenry is actually two people. There is a Mr. William and a Mr. McHenry. He learned from them. Those were some of his inspirations. Um, and you can see that if you look at several of his styles together, they are kind of that gentlemanly, but nice and fancy type of thing. So yeah, he makes everything from big and small. I like this Punisher kind of style. He has a couple different Punisher styles with the Punisher logo here. Uh, it looks different in several different ones that I've seen. So all in all, it's pretty freaking cool. Prior to making knives, he was a machinist most of his life, tool maker, welder, and a gunsmith. So yeah, I think it's pretty cool. It's not necessarily my style, and I'm not gonna run out and buy one, but having a channel and doing it the way I do it by asking friends and just random people like yourselves that are watching to ship knives to me is the fun part because I get to learn about knives that I would not normally see, right? That's the thing. A lot of other channels are just buying knives that they like or buying knives for their channels to show and yeah, we all need to make content and we all need knives to show. I like to just do it this way because I get to see stuff that I would not be interested in. I would not rush out and buy this just to show. So it gives me the opportunity. This is the Red Horse Knife Works Hellraiser automatic. Um, so this one, because it's in automatic, you can't really close it one-handed. This one, you can get a little bit closer. It's going to drop down to the spring, and then you need to compress that spring right here in the back for it to go back in its place and lock in. So I think it's really cool. It is for sale. If you're interested, check the description. If it's sold, it'll say sold. If it's not, it'll have a price. And uh, Kyle... Thanks for sending us in. It's been a pleasure to kind of research Richard a little bit and understand who and what he is. So that's been great. All you watching, thank you very much. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you've made it this far, comment automatic down in the comments. I would appreciate it.